Okay, we've talked about four motherboards so far. From the kit that I'm building, then the in-house computer, then the HP, and then the Dell, working back in chronological from newest to oldest computers. But this is a fifth motherboard, and I've got it up here for a specific reason. We talked about expansion slots in that first section, and then in the second section, we talked quite a lot about chipset. This motherboard is a very good visualization of both of those. Remember, the first four motherboards that I showed you had PCI slots that looked very much like this. They also had the PCI Express 16 and the PCI Express X1 slots. Well, this motherboard has a unique slot that you've been missing so far, and that's this guy right here, which is the AGP, that accelerated graphics port. I wanted you to see an example of one of those. Now, this is not a chocolate brown like I'm used to in the older boards, but this is an AGP slot right here. Let's notice a couple of things about this slot. First of all, from one end to the other of the electrical connections, it is slightly shorter than the PCI slot. In just a moment, I'm going to bring up a second motherboard, and I want you to be able to compare this AGP slot to that PCI Express 16. Not only so you can have a visual concept of what they look like differently, but understand that the newer technologies nowadays is the PCI Express. The second reason why I like this motherboard for show and tell is because of the chipset. This is probably one of the better motherboards I've got to show you for chipset because right here's the North Bridge, down here's the South Bridge. Remember from the lecture, what's the purpose of the North Bridge? North Bridge is between the processor and the memory. Here is my traffic cop. Literally the memory controller hub, the MCH, is inside this North Bridge chip right here. Now obviously this is a legacy motherboard. As we went to the newer technology all the way up to my kit motherboard, that memory controller hub was actually integrated into the processor itself, along with the GPU, the graphic processing unit. But in the older technology like we're looking at here, Northbridge manages the memory to the processor and that AGP, an accelerated graphics port slot, is communicating directly through the North Bridge to memory. That's one of the reasons why it's so fast. Okay, if that's the North Bridge off of these fast components, then the South Bridge does a whole lot of everything else. South Bridge manages all of your PCI slots, these guys right here. Your South Bridge is also going to take care of this and this SATA. Serial ATA mass storage we're going to talk about later in our presentation. The South Bridge manages these two ports, which are the IDE mass storage connectors. South Bridge is going to manage an onboard network card. It's going to manage the keyboard, the mouse. In other words, it collects everything else that's a little bit slower. This motherboard's good for seeing North Bridge, memory, AGP processor, and South Bridge, everybody else. Now, I want to bring up the kit motherboard, and I want to hold them close enough side by side so you can compare visually the AGP to the PCI Express 16. What you're looking at right here, 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 and here is the kit motherboard, and this is the end edge of that kit motherboard. Behind it, back here, is that old legacy motherboard, because specifically I wanted you to compare this AGP slot to this PCI Express. Notice two things. First of all, this guy is a good bit longer than your standard PCI, where the AGP is just a little bit shorter than the standard PCI. Secondly, the notch. Notice on this PCI Express, it's got a plastic key or a notch right there, and the AGP is at the opposite end. The AGP is right there. You can't put an AGP card into a PCI Express slot and vice versa. You can't mess it up, thank goodness. But the purpose of both of these slots is to provide really high-end, fast graphic capability that communicates directly to the North Bridge. All right, now I've got my kit motherboard up. This is my kit motherboard. And if you recall, 
in the latest of the motherboards, what we have now is that memory controller hub is integrated directly into the processor itself, and so is the graphics processing unit. In other words, here in the 1155 processor that's going in there, we'll talk about 1155 later, that processor we learned from the chipset picture that I showed you is going to already have the gra graphics processing unit in it. It's also got the memory controller in it. So a lot of what was the North Bridge has now been integrated on the processor itself. So then what's this guy down here? Well, remember, what happens is the South Bridge became, if you will, enhanced. It's basically a South Bridge on steroids because it still does communicate to a whole lot of components. The PCI communicates to that PCI Express times one. PCI Express times one lane, PCI Express times 16 lane down here, which is the version 2.0 that I mentioned in the earlier demonstration. If that's true, then what's this right here? This is a PCI Express 16 lane 3.0 version. It communicates directly to the processor. The South Bridge communicates, of course, to all of the SATA ports, to the onboard network card, keyboard, mouse, I.O., USB ports, all of that is now part of that enhanced South Bridge on our kit computer. Let's go from this motherboard and work our way backwards chronologically, and you'll see how the newest of the chipset was here, and I showed you a minute ago the oldest. So let's go from the kit motherboard back to the in-house computer.